So in this section, we're building a 16 kilometer tunnel for HS2. The construction method is a tunnel boring machine of a variable density type, the first that's ever been used in the UK. And it's probably gonna take roughly three years for the excavation to be completed at roughly 15 meters a day. Tunneling is a hazardous environment, so anything we can implement to avoid accidents from occurring, it's always a, a, a good plus on a project. We are in fact uh, using our own experience and uh, our uh, own uh, lessons learned on the various projects before to try to improve the specific area where we found that our people were maybe more at risk. The two areas that we have looked at are the removal of wood spaces from the ring sections in the tunnel and the placement of dowels. These two issues have some inherent safety risks that we want to try and avoid. So as a, as a contractor, we've come up with a robotic solution to sort of mitigate these two risks. This robot is installed on a trolley behind the segment crane that is picking up the segments. As the segment crane moves forward, this robotic arm follows behind it automatically. So the first piece of equipment is the doobie-doo part of the robotic arm. This doobie-doo picks up a dowel and installs it straight onto the segment. This is an automated process, so he picks up one dowel for the one side and then one dowel for the other side. The wood spaces are used to stack the ring segments in the yard, but are still in place when segments are brought inside the tunnel for installation. The second part of this robotic arm is the crocodile innovation. Essentially the robotic arm moves backwards as the segment has been lowered onto the segment feeder. This piece of equipment is essentially a claw which drags along the top of the segment that had the pieces of wood left on top. As it drags it across and meets the second piece of wood, the claw closes. The robotic arm can then pick up the pieces of wood that have been left over. I think everybody is quite excited about this, this innovation uh, because it was teamwork and I think it's a really a, a good innovation to share with other uh, partners or contractors to be sure that uh, on all these projects in HS2 we are uh, working in, uh, in safe conditions. Everything we do, we're always looking at the problems and looking at how we can improve on them. Even if they're already safe, we try and strive to make them safer, trying to avoid putting people into harm's way if we can. And that's just typical of how we design our TBMs. This crocodile inno innovation is, a, is an illustration of what are the values that we want to implement here on C1. Uh, we did a lot of work, uh, all the team together, to establish uh, common values between uh, the client, ourselves, the supplier, to be sure that all the uh, people involved in the project are buying this value. And the best example to, I would say, achieve the first one is to achieve a proper safety on site, is to demonstrate it through this type of innovation.